Hello guys and welcome back to Dragon Age. I just ran through the whole of our Dukin again to get to the entrance, so now we can just quickly head to the thing. We can quickly head back to Orzama. So you don't have to watch me run through all the caves, because you know that'd be kind of boring just watching me wander through caves that you've already been through. Hopefully it doesn't crash. But we've recorded quite a few episodes, so if it does, then it's fine. If not, meh. We'll just keep going. Ugh. Man, oh, another week and it be my birthday. Oh, I know it won't, because it's July next month. Oh, okay, never mind. Birthday's in August, not July. I don't know what day it is. No. It's gonna crash, isn't it? Because it's still loading. Oh. Oh, no, it's working. Right then, I didn't think it would work, but it is. Okay. Well, uh, well we can sell some stuff. We can't sell anything to him because he won't take anything. I think we'll first go to the outfit so that we can go to the Mage's Tower and tell him about Thingy-Mabob. You know, Thingy-Mabob, the woman. Delphi or whatever her name is. Why do I have to do it? Sometimes I pick up too much fabric and it ends up all puckered and the entire garment hangs wrong afterward. And you're, you know, grandmotherly. Grandmothers do that sort of thing, don't they? Darning socks and whatnot. <laughs> don't want me to have to fight dark spawn in a shirt with a hole, do you? I might get bigger. I might catch cold. Oh, all right. I'll mend your shirt the next time we set up camp. Oh, and while you're at it, the elbows kind of need patching, too. Careful, young man. Your puckered garments may be the least of your problems. <laughs> Alistair. Right, out we go. We're not, visited, we're not finished in Orzammar, so don't lock us out. We're just going somewhere else. head to Lake Cannonhead first and then take the boat to tower because I think we have a few mage collective things we need to hand in. <coughs> Whoa, what's with the frame rate? Jesus! It's tanked! It's at eight! No wait, six! Oh god. Don't you die on me game! Shut up. 
Cool. Thank you. It seems I must retract a statement I made earlier. The Elder Mage is not at all like my former master. Oh? That's a good thing, is it? It is. Unless you happen to like having your head crushed. Not that I remember doing that. You know, I... I think I even remember who you speak of. His name was Wilhelm, yes? From the Free Marches? It was Wilhelm of shrill voice and the control rod that he enjoyed wielding very much. Any more than that, he did not divulge. Wilhelm. Well, if it was the same man, he had quite the reputation. A scholar of some means who disappeared mysteriously. Mystery solved. I killed him. I expect I smiled, much as I'm able to. <laughs> you do speak your mind, don't you? Fortunately, no other part of me has anything to say. I think it's mostly your fists. Good to see you again. Okay, then I guess... So you don't have anything to hand in to you, then. Okay, then. Straight to the tower in the deeps. Oh, hello. Welcome back, youngster. Looking to go across to the tower? You got your boat back. Gregor came by, said I could have Lissy back. He seemed sad and tired. I'd like to go. Off we go, then. Woo. Yeah, we've already seen that. Come on. It's a spooky tower where the mages sleep. Yeah, I get it. Ugh. Oh, I also have to have... Uh, I also have to give the guy the lyrium that I got. I don't have to, but I want to. Constitution increases the character's health and physical resistance. No, really? Creative. I wonder if anyone's got that loading screen as like a tattoo. The whole like spiral thing. Looks it would be pretty cool. Right, first Irving. Welcome back, friend. You'll be glad to learn that the circle is well on its way to recovery. Good, good. Um, but I've got some news about some girl called Dagna. Yeah, she wishes to study magic. Is that right? Ozama. Indeed. <laughs> you have piqued my curiosity. It is common knowledge that dwarves lack the aptitude for spellcraft. She will never be able to weave the simplest magic, no matter how hard she tries. All she wants to do is study the theory of magic. Fascinating. <laughs> I suppose the circle should be flattered. She be she is willing to give up caste and clan for this. I see. If she is willing to sacrifice so much for this, then we should feel honored. Tell Dagna of Orzimar that this path will not be easy. But if she chooses it, then she is welcome here at the circle. Good. She will live and study with the Tranquil, and perhaps the apprentices when it is appropriate. Thank you, First Enchanter. Ah, if only the circle was in better shape. I fear she may be disappointed when she arrives. You'll have a hatched a pair of hands to help rebuild. This will be interesting. <laughs> she could tell us much about our dwarven neighbors. Yes, the more I think about it, the more I like the idea. I shall take this as an indication that perhaps things are starting to look up for the circle. <laughs> Thank you. It's all right. Forgive me, but I must take my leave. I wish you well. No, you... Yeah. See ya. 